Ben, welcome back to the Cardiff Devils. How happy are you to have signed back in Devils colours? Yeah, I'm I'm really happy. I'm uh, excited for Elite to be back uh, playing for Cardiff. Um, I've been gone now uh, a few seasons and uh, yeah, just excited to, to put the jersey back on, uh, get down to the rink and, uh, and start playing games and, and get the season cracking really. At Guildford, the past couple of seasons, you've come agonisingly close to putting some silverware in the trophy cabinet. As a decision to leave, was the Devils winning culture a big part of that in your decision making process? Yeah, absolutely. Like I'm, uh, I, I, I want to win trophies first and foremost. And um, uh, I suppose since I've been gone, left Cardiff, the all Cardiff have done is win trophies, and uh, I, I'm, I'm excited to to be a part of that culture now, and and hopefully push things forward. And and like you say, I, I want to be there or thereabouts with with every trophy, uh, moving through the season. You've had stints since you left Cardiff in Glasgow, Coventry, the ECHL, Guildford. How do you feel you've grown as a player? What have you improved on since Devil fans have seen you last? Yeah, I'm just constantly, every season, i got goals that I want to achieve personally and, and through the team and and uh, just building on them year on year, really. Um, uh, getting back into the national team was one as well, which um, the last two two or three seasons now I have been. Um, but yeah, just learning curves year in, year out. Obviously, I, like you touched on there, I went to Glasgow and then Went over to the East Coast Hockey League for a little while, and then uh, um, the last few years I've been in Guildford. So um, yeah, I, I feel like I've learned a lot, and uh, excited to bring that back to Cardiff now after um, some seasons away. You touched on GB there. You've been involved in some iconic moments the last two seasons in Pool A: the overtime winner, the All Welsh goal um, in this, this past tournament as well. Just how proud are you on a personal and team level with how GB have adapted to Pool A? Yeah, I think it's uh, just a testament to the, the team and coaching staff and, and culture really we got in, in, in the team right now uh, to, to go through. We didn't really know what to expect in Slovakia and we, we took it game on game and, and ended up being able to, to stay up in dramatic fashion, obviously, at the end. And um, yeah, uh, the, the year just gone, I think we took steps forward. Um, obviously, lots of positives to take out, Kirti being one and and just w- winning an extra game and, and really competing in most games. Obviously, we, we were there there or thereabouts in a few more games this year. And uh, I think, speaking for the team, we're excited to, to move forward and try and push on again further next year in uh, in Finland. So, yeah, it's just uh, it's a massive honour to, to be a part of that team. And, and uh, you just you just do what you can to, to help the team out game in, game out there. That poor experience at international level, how much do you think that's going to help um, in the Champions Hockey League as well. A lot of guys now play in Pool A who are going to pull on a Devils jersey. <clears throat> Excuse me. A lot of guys playing Pool A going to pull on a Devils jersey. You've had CHL experience in the past yourself as well. Are you confident that the Devils can make that one big more step and go into the knockout stages this year? Yeah, I think that's definitely a target we got. Obviously, Devils have been knocking on the door the last few years. Obviously, I've, um, I've watched a few of these games back and... Uh, it's been uh, there or thereabouts, but uh, I'm first and foremost really excited to to get the jersey back on first and foremost, and then and then get cracking with the CHL. Um, there's some uh, interesting games that we we got to to work on, and uh, yeah, that's definitely a, a target to to move forward and and push through. Uh, but yeah, playing on that big ice and and the fast tempo. Uh, fast tempo games, which is similar to the World Championships, you touched on it. I just I just love playing. That type of style of hockey, and uh, yeah, I'm very excited. You're bringing a teammate from last year with you, Josh Waller, coming to join the Devils. What can Devils fans expect from him? Yeah, he's energetic. He's gonna he's gonna make plays where he can, and uh, and yeah, he's he's a very skillful skillful player, and uh, enjoyed playing with him the last few years. And he's a he's a he's a great guy as well. So he's gonna fit right in with Cardiff. Then finally, I always let the guys um, have their own little message for Devils fans at the end of these interviews. So. Flow is yours, but just a, a message to the Devils faithful about what can they expect from you and the team in this upcoming season. Yeah, well, first and foremost, I'm excited to, to come back and, and join my hometown club. Um, it's been a few years away now, um, but every time I come back to Cardiff, it's a special moment. Obviously, my family are, are mostly in the stands. Like, uh, they're, they're brilliant supporters of mine. And, uh, yeah, so I'm excited to get back, get playing in, uh, in, the, in the rink down, down the bay and... Uh, yeah, just push forward. Um, obviously, people have seen me play before. I try and I try and play a fast tempo game, play offensive if I can, and uh, 
just get be annoying for some of the defenders on, on some other teams really so uh yeah i'm excited to get going first and foremost and uh, can't wait to get back well ben we're delighted to have you back as well and we look forward to seeing you put on a devil's jersey again in august thank you thanks cheers